Welcome to the topic section of solids. Here, sectioning is the process of cutting the solids in some given orientation, and we have to see the newly exposed surfaces. Generally, sectioning is done to show the internal features which are hidden in the general view. So, if you see in its front view, perhaps some hidden components will be there. If we do the sectioning, it will remove some portion of the solid and the internal part, parts will be visible. So let us take an example of an apple. If I have an apple in my hand and if you generally see it from our orthographic projection point of view. If you see the orthographic projection of a solid, we can see just the outermost surface of the solid. So if I want to expose or if I want to show the seed of the apple, I have to cut it into two parts. So if the apple in my hand is resting in which it's resting with its base on its feet, I have to cut the apple in the orientation of a cutting plane which is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. If I cut the apple in this orientation, I can see the sectional view of the apple so that I can see the seed in that apple. So this is the basic requirement of sectioning of solid. Here we will not have such hidden components, but we will section some simple solids like pentagonal prism, hexagonal pyramid and like that and we can see, we will see how it is appearing in its sectional view. So the sectional plane may be parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. This is one orientation. If we cut the solid like this, in the, sec the section view will be visible only in its top view. Then in the front view we cannot see the sectional, sectional surface. Sectional view means the newly exposed surface. So if you see the solid from its front, I cannot see the sectional shape. I can see only the cutting plane in this view. I can see the section view only in the top. Similarly, if the cutting plane is, is oriented like this, here now the cutting plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. In this orientation, if I cut the solid, the sectional view will be visible from its front. From the front view, we can see the sectional view. From the top view, we cannot see the sectional view. See, if the cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, this is the orientation. So if the cutting plane is like this, I can see the section view in the top view. However, the top, the section view which is visible in the top view is not a true shape. Because actually, this, if I cut the solid like this, the true shape will be a larger shape. But if I see from the top, I will see which is not the actual shape. So I have to see in the orientation which is perpendicular to this. If I see from this orientation, I can see the true shape of the section. Similarly, if the cutting plane is inclined to VP, I can see the section view from its front, but that view is not true shape. So if I want to see the, see the true shape of the section view, I have to see perpendicular to the cutting plane. So that is the basic thing we have to know. Let us see more in the problems.